good morning. Uranium is a very exciting space to be in. Uh, Peninsula Energy and a few other companies are making it so. I'd like to share with you the story of Peninsula Energy and uh, how we're advancing to restart our uranium production at Lance. Not in the near future, but immediately. Uh, we're presently uh, ramping up production at the project as I speak. Uh, we have the standard disclaimers, a competent person statement. Peninsula Energy is a is uranium name that you need to know. We're an emerging U.S. uranium producer. Our flagship project is in the state of Wyoming. It's the Lance Project, and it's one of the largest uranium resources uh, that is fully licensed and, and, and known. Uh, we made a positive final investment decision to restart the Lance Project uh, in November and today. Uh, we are a very near-term producer. Our project is actually ramping up. We got flow going through the uh, process plant. We're beginning to uh, precondition the, the well fields and, and we're getting ready to reach and attain uh, commercial production rates here in the first quarter of this year. So very exciting time for Peninsula Energy. Uh, not only are we restarting a project that was it's modern, it was built in, in 2015, uh, but we're looking at the growth potential of the assets that we have on hand. Our Lance project is, has a, a tremendous opportunity to, to expand the resources currently at about 54 million pounds of measured, indicated, and inferred resources. Uh, they consider the resource potential at the project of 100 to 160 million additional pounds, all on, on properties that we uh, control the mineral rights to already. Uh, we're well funded. We, we did a capital raise in, in the, the latter part of last year. We have about $25 million uh, U.S. on uh, cash on hand. And we have a uranium inventory of about 500,000 uh, pounds as of the end of the year. Uh, we have a very experienced uranium production team, uh, one of the best, and, and we're very happy with that. The, let me tell you about the Lance Project and the restart today with the final investment decision on hand. Uh, we're ramping up the project. The project is capable of producing a little under a million pounds per year right now, uh, but it's licensed to produce up to three million pounds per year. So there's a great uh, growth potential in the Lance project itself. There's 54 million pounds of resources. Um, uh, Jork compliant, this is an Australian company, and, and we have significant upside potential as I was just describing in the previous page. This is a picture of the Lance projects it's not what you think about when you look at and you think about mining, but it's an in-situ recovery mine, and that's actually our processing plant, and in the background, there's uh, mining units. So uh, corporately, we have, uh, it's an Australian listed company. We have about 1.2 billion shares on issue, uh, trading at Australian 15 and a half cents per share. Our market cap, about $200 million. We don't have any debt. We have quite a bit of cash, $25 million on hand to enable us to ramp up the production. And we have that inventory, too, of about a half a million pounds, which holds considerable value. Again, our technical team and our management team are very experienced in the uranium space. I, myself, have been a uranium producer for over 35 years. Uh, the Lance Projects, let's tell you about it. It's in the northeast corner of the state of Wyoming in the Powder River Basin. As you heard from our previous speaker, Wyoming is a great jurisdiction to be doing uranium recovery, and it's a big state. We have a lot of uranium projects, uh, the Lance being one of them. Uh, it's a great jurisdiction. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love, I live and work in Wyoming, and, and I love it there. Uh, the Lance projects itself is, is three projects in total. We have the Ross, the Kendrick, and the Barber projects. The Ross project is the portion uh, you see in red. It's the fully licensed portion of our facility. We have a production facility at the site. We have two developed well fields that we're starting to produce back out of. And we have the potential for two to three new um, uh, uranium well fields. They might each contain a million, a million and a half pounds. The Kendrick area is the next area of interest for us. We're expanding around the perimeter of the Ross project. Uh, sequentially, that's where we'll produce from next. At the end of the year, in 2022, we filed our amendments for our licenses to include the Kendrick project into the, into the licensed project areas. That process of licensing will take a year, to, a year and a half to two years. Uh, it's a very routine uh, uh, license amendment type of activity, but we're getting ready for the next sequential area, so we're bringing and expanding our licensed area at Kendrick. And then there's Barber, which has about 30 million pounds of inferred resources. That's really where the exploration potential upside is. 
Uh, we believe that if we put some drill rigs on the site and we start focusing on those inferred resources, that not only can we upgrade those resources and define them as measured and inferred, but we can, can up the quantity of, of resources. That's been the past experience at the site. When they, when they converted the, the uranium resources from uh, inferred to measured and indicated at the Ross projects, they had a four to five fold increase in the total resources. We think that that's the potential for the entire Barber area. It's a district scale project. It's about 37 kilometers north to south and about eight kilometers wide. The Lance Project resources, as I told you, it's about 54 million pounds it, it, and it's all located at this very modern, large scale and long life uh, uranium project. So this is a project that's really on the up. Um, <clears throat> with with the exploration um, expenditures funded this year, um, we're looking forward to, to starting to expand and grow our resource base. Uh, part of our story, and it's been a big part, is the the chemistry change that we're making at the project. When we were put when we put the project online in 2016, we used alkaline chemistry. We decided that we would change it to a low pH a process chemistry. That's the way that Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, uh, Russia and Australia. Uh, uh, countries all around the world practice in situ recovery, and they have the lowest cost production costs of all in situ recovery mines of all uranium production facilities. We looked at that and said, why wouldn't we do that here in the United States? Why wouldn't we apply the most effective and lowest cost process chemistries? We did that, and we took a journey from 2017 to now. We re regulatorily de-risked it. Uh, we technically de-risked it with field trials, and now uh, we finalized that with a definitive feasibility study, which was issued last August. So we have very current costs. And following the definitive feasibility study and the capital raise, we decided that now is the time we can make money producing uranium. So we made that final investment decision. What you see with Peninsula is a very deliberative and 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 uh, thoughtful company. The board and management team have have made sure that we de-risked the project before we restarted it, and this is the path that we took. It's really this. Uh, we said we need to do technical optimization and, and, and make sure that technically this project's going to work. Then we need to do economic optimization to make sure that the project's going to work economically. Then we can make a final investment decision. We were lucky because the uranium markets cooperated with us. At the time, we were ready for a final investment decision. The uranium markets were ready for us. So now in the next three months, we'll be ramping up production in the old well fields as we develop new well fields for, for future production. It's going to take nine to 12 months to get a new well field up and running, uh, but we're in the process of doing that. We have drill rigs on site. We have the you know, construction crews and, and the operating crews all working really hard at the site today. Not only are we a good operating company, we also have had very good success in uranium marketing. We're a junior uranium mining company that has a track record of delivering uranium into contracts since 2016. So the industry, our customers, recognize us as a reliable deliverer of uranium. We have sales contracts in place today for up to almost 5 million pounds of uranium to be delivered in the years between now and 2030. And those prices, you know, generally we're, we're talking about delivery in prices of $60 or better. This year, an exciting, exciting year, we're going to have over 700,000 pounds of uranium delivered, including a delivery of 300,000 pounds to the United States Department of Energy, which just occurred here in the first quarter. So we have a very big year on revenues uh, delivering into our sales contracts. This company is well supported with sales contracts. We have inventory to meet our deliveries. Um, 500,000 pounds, we just delivered 300,000 of those um, here in the first quarter to the DOE. We have a balance of, you uh, know, we have another uh, delivery here in the first quarter. It's going to be over about 200,000 pounds. Uh, we're purchasing some an additional pounds. This is going to be a great year for us in, the, in that respect. So this is a very compelling uranium uh, company proposition. The truth is idled U.S. uranium uh, companies, you know, with sufficiently advanced um, projects have a unique opportunity to capture this emerging uranium market. Uh, most uranium developers face significant staffing, technical, and regulatory challenges, operational and marketing challenges, but Peninsula has just spent the last four years completely de-risking staffing, technical operations, and regulatory aspects. That's why we made our final investment decision. The Lance Project is ready to capture a growing uranium market, and this company is going to be one to watch. Thank you.